A brief history of rugby union. Rugby originated out of an early form of football. Not like football as we know it today, but a much cruder form of the game. Full of rough and tumble, with no limits to the number of players on each side, and not too much in the way of rules. Players were allowed to catch and kick the ball with their hands, but they weren't allowed to run with it, and that was pretty much it. Legend has it that in 1823, a young lad by the name of William Webb Ellis didn't care too much for this rule either. And so, during a game of football at the rugby school in the town of Rugby, Warwickshire, England, caught the ball and ran with it towards the opponent's goal line. The idea caught on, and rugby students spread the game's gospel across England. In fact, the world's first and oldest football club, the Guy's Hospital Football Club, formed in London in 1843, was formed by old boys from rugby school. Soon, a number of other clubs formed to play games based on the rugby school rules. Clubs like the Dublin University Football Club, which founded in 1854, has arguably become the world's oldest surviving football club in any code and the Blackheath Rugby Club in London, which was founded in 1858. In fact, it was Francis Mool Campbell, a member of the Blackheath Club, that led the breakaway from the newly formed Football Association in 1863, when it moved a motion to expunge two rules integral to the rugby style of the game at the time, namely running with the ball and hacking. Basically, kicking an opponent in the shins. Campbell argued that hacking was an essential element of football and that the rules that the FA intended to adopt would do away with all the courage and pluck required to play the game. He feared that they would destroy the game and all interest in it. In protest, he withdrew the Blackheath Club and other rugby clubs followed this lead and refused to join the Football Association. Instead, they formed their own association and on the 26th of January 1871, in a meeting attended by representatives from 21 clubs, they founded the Rugby Football Union. And what of that young boy that legend says started it all way back in 1823? Well, aside from a statue and a plaque at his old school in rugby, which reads, This stone commemorates the exploit of William Webb Ellis, who with a fine disregard for the rules of football as played in his time, first took the ball in his arms and ran with it, thus originating the distinctive feature of the rugby game, A.D. 1823. The Rugby World Cup trophy just happens to be named after him. The Webb Ellis Cup, colloquially known as Bill, is awarded to the winner of the Rugby World Cup.